If you woke up this morning wondering how to fit six machine guns into the wing of an airplane, you're in luck because that is precisely what I'll be doing. If not, perhaps you can just stick around for the hell of it. This is another very good resin kit from Eduard, which I'll give 9 out of 10 stars. Unfortunately, the barrels of the guns have no details, no perforations on them. For my build, it won't matter. They'll be hidden at the end, but it's something to keep in mind if you were trying to do a maintenance scene. An electric rotary drill is the best way to open up the wing, but if you don't have one, you can run your hobby knife along the panel lines a thousand times until you slice through them. I've actually done this before, so it does in fact work. There are relatively few parts to put together, and the real challenge with this set is cutting open the wing and then sanding down the interior so that it's nearly translucent. Everything has to be ultra thin, including the resin bay, or else the wing halves won't fit together. There's a slight curvature on the wing, and that's why I'm rolling the photo etch base. Without this curve, the bay would sit too high. It'd be off a half millimeter, which really does make a lot of difference. Of course, it didn't fit perfectly the first time I sanded everything. Lots and lots of test fitting and re-sanding was involved to get to this point. I told you earlier the gun barrels aren't much to look at, and here they are. This is all they give you. I'm not sure if Tamiya makes a brass color, but it didn't matter at the time because gold was all I had and it turned out to be a close enough color regardless of the name. I could have said it was brass for this video and nobody would have blinked an eye. The fine tipped brushes I'm using are Flexafile brand and they come in various different sizes and they're great for detail work. They seem to hold up pretty well to my heavy use and I truly enjoy using them and no they do not sponsor me. I used PVA glue which is the same kind of Elmer's glue that children eat on the ammo belt feed chute because I needed to test fit it inside the gun bay and do some last minute positioning to get it to the correct angle. I do like super glue, but in this situation, it would have dried too quickly for my needs. Don't forget to slice a section off the decal that is on the removable panel. This is much easier before you dip it in water. Fortunately, the aftermarket set included highly detailed replacement panels since I destroyed the original ones with my rotary tool. Most sets will come with replacements, by the way. Attaching these was maybe the very last thing that I did on the build because they can get knocked off so easily.
Once again, thanks for watching my video. If you thought it was cool, give me a thumbs up. If you thought it was trash, give me a thumbs down. But you better leave a comment and tell me why you didn't like it. Next video in this series will be the engine build, so I'll see y'all on that video.